In this video, I'll demonstrate how to click the Next button to load the next page of results in a list. As you can see here, I'm collecting a list of products from a website. It shows me that there are multiple pages of this list, and I want the agent to proceed to each page in the list after scraping all of the products on each page. To do this, I first need to create a capture list. I have done that here, as you can see with the action Begin Item List. To create a list pager, I'll simply click on Begin Item List and choose Add List Pager. I'll then click on the Next Page button and choose OK. Now there is an action on this page called Page List, which clicks on the Next Page button to load the next page of results where the agent will continue to scrape. I'll click on Test Agent and choose Start to test this functionality. I can see it proceeding from one page to another and collecting all of the data. Now we're going to go over the second type of page lister. Let's delete the first one that we've created. I'll scroll back up so I can see the next page button again. The next type of page lister is where we proceed to the following page by using the list of numbers on the page. To do this, once again, I'll choose Begin Item List choose Add List Pager, and instead of clicking on the Next Page button, I'll choose the number, 2. Then I'll click on No, and choose OK. Notice there is now, once again, a page list action, but now it uses the numbers, rather than the Next button. This is useful when no Next Page button is present. To test the functionality, I'll choose Test Agent, and select Start. I can see it proceeding through all three pages of the list and collecting all of the data. 